this is me playing a game. I'm Dr. B playing this game. And in doing these two actions, I pretty much summarized the entire last episode. I bet you feel bad for watching it now, and for that I apologize. It was not my intention to waste your time. It was my intention to waste a lot of your time. So if you don't want a lot of your time wasted, you can go ahead and watch something else right now and waste your time on that. But if you do enjoy good time wasting with Dr. B, then please stay tuned, for I shall be here to waste lots of your time. And also, apparently this can be used with a toolbox. Yep, figured that shit out. There's something inside. Tweezers! You know, tweezers so we can get that ladybug off the wall? You know, that ladybug, which is part of the potion we're making for some reason, which will probably just form into like half a brick so we can fill that hole in the wall. And why would we want to do that? You know, I don't, but you probably do! Oh, I fuck this game. It's actually pretty good. I figured I it was made... I never pay attention to who makes the game, so check this shit out. Kaka, you sons of bitches! That's right, Snow Owl made this! And he's the same genius behind Miserere! And I fucking loved Miserere! It was like the best- No, it was seriously some of the tightest- It was probably the best RPG Maker game I've played in my life, to be honest. That, and I wanna say it like ties with Yumaniki. Maybe it's just a little less than Yumaniki. I don't know, I kinda like it more than Yumaniki because it's more straightforward. With the story, Yumaniki is just creative nonsense. But but Miserere seems like it has a storyline behind it if you pay attention. Fuck it, it's my favorite RPG Maker game, I'll admit it. And I already got Ladybug, I don't know what I'm doing. But it was made by the same guy, and it was made in a week for a contest, and I think it got like third, which is pretty good. And he also made Skinwalker, he just makes a bunch of cool shit, and I gotta go check more of his things out. Anyways, why am I in here? I really need to pay attention. Let's make a potion. Might as well try it. I'll mix them. God, recipe mix. Dear, are you up here? Over here, Lillian. You'll never catch me. Dinner's done, but I can't find Robert anywhere. You don't suppose he's still in that forest, do you? I told him to be careful. He better not have gone in too deep. Can you go find him, dear? I want us all to eat together. Yes, Lillian. You just keep the food warm. I'll go get him. Thank you, dear. I'll be downstairs. Yeah. Yeah, you will. Small stone plate with a pocket for some of the... Take quite a while to heat this thing up. Let us use the mixture in here. And we'll come back for it later. No? Okay. Screw it. We're gonna go find our stupid son. Because he got lost in the stupid woods. Everything is stupid. Robert! Are you there? Dinner is ready. You better not keep us waiting. No response, huh? Fucking eat that kid. I'm hungry. I wanted some Kraft macaroni and cheese, but no! No, my son... My son... Is in the forest. Why did you go in the forest? What? Could there possibly be in the forest? You were looking for treasure? What the hell is that? Don't kill me. Wait, what was that? An earthquake? I should go back home, but I won't. There's not- there wasn't a tree there before! I can't go any deeper. Where the hell is he? Did he get lost? God damn it. I don't have patience for this kind of thing. What do I do now? Can't continue this way. I'm gonna get killed by a giant forest monster. It'll probably eat my skull. And make my bones into a trombone. Because it has bone in the name. I don't know why I sing. I'm actually quite bad at it. Uh, where do I go, though? Do I go back home? Lillian, our son is dead. Let's eat. I'm quite hungry. Woman. Woman, no. Female. You. Did you find Robert? I'm very worried. I'll figure something out. Don't you worry. Well, fuck it. I guess we gotta go back in the deep, scary forest to find our deep, scary son. Because if heaven forbid he do something, you know, useful like, oh, I don't know, mow the forest. Because if you mow a forest, you start closest, not farthest away, that stupid kid. 
Uh, it gets darker and scarier with every step I take into this haunted forest. But, that'll be fine, I'll be fine. Is that a cave? No. I remember you had a cave last time. There was a cave somewhere. But we can't seem to go there. Do we have to use the mix for something? Can we throw it on the tree and melt it? I can't know. Um, mixed ingredients, hammer screwdriver, this? Well, shit. Back to my alchemy lab. Maybe there are some documents on the drawers. Let's see. Ah, here it is. One fourth spike weed, one fourth ladybug, a fourth St. John's ward, a fourth water. Mix well, pour onto soil, and wait. Um, pour onto soil, huh? Is something supposed to happen? I guess we're gonna pour this shit outside. I don't know why, but why not? Pour. Okay, I guess I'll try this. Uh, right there for some reason. Ah, what a horrible stench. Smells like sulfur feces and rotten meat combined. It smells horrible. What is that? I guess now I just wait. I don't know what for exactly, but whatever. If I go back and go back, will it be there? What are you doing? It smells horrible. What is that? It smells horrible. Why do we even? What is that? Holy shit, what was that? That sound came from outside. Hello? What are you? Son, is that you? Hey, where have you been? I told you not to get lost in those woods, didn't I? Answer when your father speaks to you. Yes, father. And what the hell are you doing in that filth? Get up right now. George, you crazy son of a gun. Oh, your face looks different, dude. Your face looks less like a face. Don't tell me you ate that filth, son. Didn't you smell that? Something wrong! You don't look too good, son. You better hurry and get you some dinner. Jesus, son, did you fall and hurt yourself or something? Do as I say and go inside. Your mother was worried for you. Yeah, he looks really different. And did he just leave a cube? Hmm? Half a brick. Oh, sweet! Let's go fix the roof for some reason. I mean, there's no reason to actually do it, but whatever. We're gonna do it anyways. Sweet. Whoa, 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 whoa! Doorway! Hidden doors. This uncle of hers really has a sense of drama. Don't kill me. Don't kill me, please. What was that? Whoa. What the hell? Don't worry, don't kill me. Oh, I get it. There's the code. It was three... Two, four. I don't fucking know. We're gonna we're gonna go back and look it up, and then we're gonna. You know what? Screw it. I'm hungry. I'm going to dinner first. Where's where is waifu? Waifu Robert? I'm so glad you found Robert. He didn't seem very hungry though. He went straight to bed. Perhaps he was tired after everything that happened today. Eh? I should hope so. Otherwise, it'd be very rude. I had to practically pull the words out of him earlier when I found him outside. Oh dear. Let's let him sleep then. Very well. Is there no food? Damn it, woman! The one thing I rely on you for. Food. And you provide me with what? No food! I'm gonna go beat up our bastard son. I know he's not mine. I've seen you with that plumber. What was his name? Mario? He's sleeping. Did the day's events tire him so? When I was his age, my energy was limitless. Ah, our son is possessed by a demon. Good times, good. We didn't even check the fucking code, I'm stupid. Let's check that code and figure out what we're gonna do with our demon son in the next episode. Because if we did it in this episode, that'd be redundant. Thank you for watching! And... 984243. Gotta remember that. Bye.